In this lecture, we are going to talk about the third and last step of the creation phase of an execution context. And the last step of the creation phase is determining the value of this variable. So from our previous lectures, we know that JavaScript engine creates the execution context in two phases, the creation phase and the execution phase. In the creation phase, the properties of the execution context object is created. So first the variable object is created, then scope chain is created, and finally the value of this keyword is determined. So when you call a function, first of all, an execution context is created in the execution stack for that function. And this execution context has three properties, variable object, scope chain, and this keyword. We have already talked about the variable object and scope chain in our previous lectures. So in this lecture, we are going to talk about how JavaScript engine determines the value of this variable. We have already talked about this variable in the objects lecture. Now, in a regular function call, the this variable simply points to the global object and in case of browser the global object is the window object so in case of a regular function call this variable will point to the global object which is the window object and in case of a method call the this variable will point to the object on which that method is called so if you remember a method is a function attached to an object so when you call, when you make a method call, that method will be called on some object. So this variable inside that method will point to that object on which you are calling this method. Okay. So these are the two rules for determining the value of this variable. And if you remember these two rules, you will never get confused with what should be the value of this variable. Now let's understand these two statements with some example. So first of all, let's simply try to log the value of this variable. Now here we are using this console.log in the global context. So here this variable will point to the global object. So in case of browser, the global object is the window object. So this variable will point to the window object and that's what it will log in the developer console as you can see here. Now let's create a function and let's call this function greetings. And inside this function first let's log a simple message in the developer console. Let's say hello world. And let's also log the value of this variable. So console.log this. Okay. And let's call this greetings function. So greetings. Here, this greetings function is a regular function. It is not a method, right? So this greetings function is a regular function. And we are calling this regular function here. And if you remember, the first rule of determining the value of this variable is that in case of a regular function call, this variable will always point to the global object. Okay. So here, when we are calling this greetings function and inside this greetings function, we are trying to log the value of this variable. Here, this variable will point to the window object and that will be logged in the developer console. So let's comment this console.log statement here let's save the changes and when we log when we refresh the page first this hello world is logged by this console.log statement and then this window object is logged here by this console.log statement so here inside this console.log we are logging the value of this variable and here this variable is pointing to this global window object okay so in case of a regular function call this variable will always point to the global object. Now let's create a, let's create an object. Let's say the object name is John. 
case John has two properties name let's say John and it also has this age property and let's say age is 28 and this John object is also having this greetings method so to this greetings method let's assign a function and inside this greetings method let me copy this code from here and let's use it inside this method okay and let's comment this code and now let's call this greetings method and if you remember to call this greetings method we will first use the object name which is John and then dot operator and then the name of the method now if you remember the second rule according to second rule when we do a method call in that case this variable inside that method will point to the object on which we are calling that method so we are calling this greetings method on this John object so this variable inside this greetings method will point to that John object okay so let's save the changes and when we refresh the page first of all this hello world will be logged by this console.log statement and here if you notice it is logging the John object so if I expand this it has this age and name property and this greetings method okay so here inside this greetings method this variable is pointing to this John object okay and why is that that is because we are calling this greetings method on this John object now let's take this example to another level let's create a regular function inside this greetings method and let's call it inner and inside this function I am simply going to log the this variable okay and also let's call this inner function now here we have created this inner function inside this John object and then inside this inner function we are trying to log the value of this variable so what do you think this will log this will point to so let's save the changes and let's see so now when I refresh the page this variable here so first of all when we are calling this greetings function on this John object inside this greetings function we are logging this hello world so this hello world is logged and then we are logging the value of this so inside this greetings function this is pointing to the John object so John object is logged here and then inside this greetings method we also have this inner function and inside this inner function we are trying to log the value of this but this time this variable is logging the window object that means this variable is pointing to the global window object and why is that so again remember rule number one this is this inner function is a regular function it is not a method okay so in case of a regular function call this variable points to the global object and that's what you see logged here okay now let's comment this and let's create another object and let's call it mark and this mark object has two properties name which is mark and it also has this age property and let's say age is 30 now this mark object does not have a greetings method so what we are going to do here is we are going to borrow this greetings method from this John object to mark object so for that we say mark dot greetings equals John dot greetings and since we are assigning this function this method to this to the greetings method of mark we are not going to use the parenthesis because we use parenthesis to call the method so here we are not going to use the parenthesis okay so in this way we have assigned the greetings method of John object to the greetings method of mark object now let's call this greetings method on mark object so mark dot greetings and again here we are making a method call it is not a regular function call it is a method call right and in case of method call this variable inside this method will point to the object on which 
this method is called so this greetings method is called on mark object so inside this greetings method this variable will point to that mark object okay and when we are calling this greetings method on john object in that case this variable will point to that john object so let's save these changes and let's refresh the page so here first we are making this we are calling this greetings method on this john object so when this greetings method is called first it will log hello world which it is logging here and then it will log the value of this variable so since this greetings is called on john object it will log that john object as you can see here and then here we are calling this greetings method on this mark object so this greetings method will be called and first it will log hello world which you can see here and then it will log the value of this variable so this variable this time will point to this mark object and that's what is logged here okay so always remember these two rules about this variable in case of a regular function call this variable will point to the global object and in case of a method call this variable will point to the object on which that method is called okay so this is how the value of this variable is determined and once all the three steps of the creation phase is complete then the execution phase starts and in the execution phase the javascript engine will again scan the function code and it will update the variable object with the values of the variable and then finally it will execute the code so this is how a javascript program is executed by the javascript engine if you like this lecture like this video subscribe to this channel and share it with your friends